Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Bhagyashri Joshi from India. As you can see my painting, which I titled Vitiligo World behind me. So you must have got the topic I am going to discuss today. In today's video, I want to share with you my journey. I love the idea of a journey. I am a strong supporter of the notion that whether we realize it or not, we are all traveling. During this journey, it is impossible for us not to be influenced by our surroundings and the people around us. So when you look back at your life, you can see how much everything has changed since you were a teenager. I have had vitiligo since I was 10. I often reflect on what this journey has taught me. Living with vitiligo has been a transformative journey for me and I hope that by sharing this journey I can inspire and educate others who may be going through similar experiences. In this video I share with you my journey, how I felt and the lessons I learned from my vitiligo to make myself a stronger person. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please feel free to comment on this video and also feel free to ask questions which I will try to answer. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Let us first understand the term vitiligo. Vitiligo is an autoimmune condition. Autoimmune means that the immune system or our protective system of the body mistakenly attacks healthy skin cells instead of harmful ones. The result is that your body stops producing healthy skin cells that is melanin pigment which gives color to your skin. And when it stops producing this melanin pigment, it results in white or pale patches on the skin. Vitiligo does not discriminate but people do. Vitiligo is a chronic condition that affects people around us or around the world. Vitiligo affects people of all races, genders, ethnicities, ages and it does not spare anyone based on their national, religious, educational, social or economic status either. It is a condition that affects people physically to a certain extent but mainly emotionally and mentally. It can be particularly challenging for people who have darker skin tones and they may find it difficult since the contrast between the affected white areas and their original color may be more obvious. My journey with vitiligo has been both challenging and empowering. When the first white patch appeared on my skin as a teenager, I did not know anything about it. It did not change my feelings about myself and did not change my routine until I received different look and change in behavior from my very own relatives and the society I was living in. Only after this experience I understood that vitiligo had led me down an unexpected path. That path turned out to be one of discovery, discovery about myself and discovery about what it means to live with vitiligo. Actually, I am really grateful that I have vitiligo because it has shaped me into the person I am today. Actually, vitiligo has made me stronger and confident person. In this video, I will discuss about my journey with vitiligo. I will discuss seven less life lessons that helped me grow stronger, how I felt and what I did to overcome challenges I faced due to vitiligo. Let me share with you my first lesson I learned from my journey with vitiligo. The first lesson is, it's okay to experience anxiety, fear, sadness and isolation during this journey with vitiligo. 
I understand living with vitiligo can be a difficult experience. From the frustration of not knowing what to expect next to the stress and sadness that result from facing people's stares and judgment as well as feeling isolated, it can be a bumpy ride. I know that there are many people out there who feel similar anxieties and fears. I know that when and if you have vitiligo, you have, you are going to feel different from other people. You are going to wonder why you have it. You are going to question why this is happening to you. What did you do wrong? You are going through various stages of grief. Listening to my journey may help you reduce some of the anxiety, fear and suffering that comes from it. Vitiligo brought major changes to my life and left me dealing with a lot of uncertainty about the future. My vitiligo has had a profound impact on me and it has shaped me into who I am today and also enabled me to deal uh, with my life and learn a great deal about the life about myself and about the world in general. I understand having vitiligo can be scary, but believe me, it does not have to be. Vitiligo has shown me that it is important to never be afraid of what life throws at me. When something goes wrong in your life, please don't be afraid. Instead, try to find out the root cause of the fear. Let us discuss main two causes of fear and anxiety here. Are you afraid or are you anxious of what people think of your appearance or your look? I repeat, are you afraid or anxious of what people think of your appearance? If yes, this is the first cause. This is the first cause of fear or anxiety in the journey with vitiligo. In my research, majority of vitiligo individuals express that they were afraid or anxious of what people will think about their vitiligo skin. However, as I grow older, I understood that thinking of others' feelings rather than your own feelings is not fair to yourself. Vitiligo is not what you have done intentionally to yourself. It does not harm others at all. It is not your fault at all. Mark my words. People will talk both ways, however good you look or behave. Don't give damn to such gossip in your life. Don't waste your energy in thinking what others think about your vitiligo. Your honesty, your consciousness and your rational mind must support your own feelings. So, if you are afraid of what others think about your vitiligo, I think you are doing injustice to yourself. Let me share the second cause here. But before that, I would like to ask a question. Is it difficult for you to accept yourself with your own vitiligo skin? I have touched this point in a little later in this video. So watch the video till the end. Important point is that apart from the changes of color or different look than usual color of people, there is no any other deformity or disability or health effect vitiligo has on your body. So what are you afraid of? You can still live healthy life despite of vitiligo. Bottom line is that learn to accept fears and anxiety and many fears and anxiety will be just gone. I believe being hurt can be the greatest gift which makes you stronger and stronger every day. It's okay to feel anger and hatred. 
but try to move past this phase of life because it's really difficult and sometimes impossible to go on with life when you are holding on to a whole bunch of things that are unnecessary to what's happening right now. Please understand that you don't have to put a smile on your face all the time. Sometimes it is okay not to grin, not to laugh or not to give even a smile at all. Because you don't have to please everyone. You just have to please yourself. I have learned to live without fear. Instead of worrying, I have learned to be to move forward. I have learned to be more relaxed and live with courage and joy no matter what challenges and obstacles come up. Don't waste your energy and time to fear. Instead, use that energy and time to strengthen yourself. Learn about yourself and create and grow. By learning more about Vitiligo and how you can manage it, you can start living life to the fullest. Let us talk about the second lesson I have learned during this Vitiligo journey. The second lesson is, it is okay if people stare at you and make comments on your Vitiligo skin. Remember, People will stare and make comments on your vitiligo skin. To those with vitiligo, I understand how you feel. I know how tough it is to deal with constant staring and questions. Everyone goes through something different in all parts of this world. But we all have something in common that is stare from strangers and society towards our vitiligo skin. I have also gone through this situation so I understand. The state from strangers who may have an issue with my skin condition has become so routine that it's hard to remember a time when I did not experience this way. In my childhood, I did not know why or how to deal with this. It was everything from the awkward stares to trying to hide something that was not even my fault. However, over the years I have learned more about the condition and what it means for me and other people. As well as methods to handle it nicely rather than wallowing in despair. As time has passed when someone makes a comment about my skin, I have learned that there is no reason to feel bad or ashamed of it. I understood that those who pass comments are ignorant about the scientific understanding of the vitiligo condition and are caught in their own biases, prejudices, misconceptions and misunderstandings. I can't control what others, other people think about me. Only thing I can do is learn more about myself, my vitiligo, and embrace my own uniqueness. I should be proud of my differences instead of trying to fit in with everyone else. So it's okay if people stare at you and make comments on your vitiligo skin. Here is the third lesson I learned during my vitiligo journey. The third lesson is, Educate yourself and others about vitiligo. I realize that one of the best ways to combat this ignorance is by becoming an advocate and raising awareness. I have learned uh, to educate others about vitiligo by sharing accurate information, debunking myths and fostering a more inclusive and understanding society. By doing so, I have been able to break down barriers and help others embrace diversity. I strongly feel it's time to put a stop to the constant scrutiny and judgments that those with vitiligo struggle on a regular basis. There is no need for people to make comments or stare at something that does not pertain to them and their own lives. Our skin color should not be something that warrants attention or ridicule. It is simply a biological characteristic. 
I strongly believe that it's time for society to learn and accept and understand the differences not just in terms of skin conditions but in all aspects of life. The next time you encounter someone with vitiligo, people please remember they are just like everyone else and deserve the same respect and dignity as any other human being. So let us shift towards a more accepting world where diversity is celebrated instead of ostracized, shunned or marginalized. Another important point I would like to touch upon is vitiligo is not contagious. It is important to note that vitiligo is not contagious and cannot be transmitted from one person to another through contact. While the exact causes of vitiligo are still unknown, as I mentioned earlier, it is believed to be an autoimmune disorder that attacks and destroys the pigment producing cells in the skin. There is no evidence linking vitiligo with any infectious agent or virus. So, individuals with vitiligo can lead normal life. It does not affect a person's overall health or well-being and should not be subjected to discrimination or stigma due to fear of contagion. So, the important point is learn about vitiligo. Educate yourself and others about vitiligo. Fourth lesson I learned from my vitiligo journey is vitiligo is not a death sentence and vitiligo is not the end of the world. Vitiligo is neither a death sentence nor the end of the world. It is easy to become consumed by vitiligo's physical and emotional effects. But it's important to remember that life is still worth living. Under this point, I will also touch the second cause of fear, which I mentioned earlier in my first lesson, that is, are you afraid of accepting yourself with vitiligo? The most crucial lesson I learned after having vitiligo is the importance of self-acceptance. Initially, I too struggled with accepting the changes in my skin and felt self-conscious. I remember saying to myself that having vitiligo is not my fault or something I need to be ashamed or embarrassed about. Having vitiligo has actually forced me to look deeper into myself and my body and to accept that my skin is different from the majority of people. Although society often emphasizes external beauty, but my experience with vitiligo has shifted my focus towards inner beauty. It has taught me that physical appearances are fleeting and that true beauty lies within us. True beauty radiates from within. Embracing my uniqueness and accepting myself just as I am has empowered me to love and appreciate every aspect of my being. Vitiligo has also taught me that beauty comes in all shapes and forms. I firmly believe that we should celebrate differences and see them as beautiful. Vitiligo makes us unique, special and makes us shine. Celebrities like Winnie Harlow and Michael Jackson with vitiligo are trailblazers who challenge conventional definition of beauty by embracing their unique appearances. By acknowledging vitiligo as the beauty indifference, we can fight against prejudice and discrimination towards individuals who are different from what is deemed normal. It is time to start championing uniqueness rather than attempting to conform to society's limited standards. I know it takes courage to stand up against societal standards of beauty, 
but by doing so we can empower ourselves and others to do the same so embrace your unique skin celebrate your differences and remember that you are beautiful just the way you are be bold in accepting yourself because only then will others take notice and begin to accept themselves too i repeat you are beautiful just the way you are so embrace it very important fifth lesson inculcating positivity and letting go are the keys of happy life i stopped caring about what others thought of me and stopped comparing myself to others because i am a unique person i focused on the positive and what i could do to make myself the best version of myself despite of my vitiligo condition i learned to focus on the things in my hands and by inspiring by my internal motivation i remember there were days when the vitiligo was harder to cover up when someone or um, someone made a nasty comment instead of being hard on myself and letting it get to me i learned an important life lesson let go let go unlike a snake uh, shedding its skin i told myself that my body is shedding of my skin so let it go the new skin color is beautiful and pure so enjoy the purity of nature i have learned to focus on the positives and the things that bring joy and contentment it is important to remember that vitiligo does not define you and you don't have to let it hinder your life as long as you stay positive you can make it through this and any stressful condition in your life with very minimal disruption to yourself remember life is too short to be unhappy so let go of things you cannot change appreciate what you have and embrace it very very important lesson of life inculcate positivity and letting go these are the keys of happy life sixth lesson i have learned from my vitiligo journey is you have a choice to take good care of yourself i learned from having vitiligo the importance of self care as you know maintaining health is another form of wealth as a teenager i struggled with the physical limitation due to sun exposure resulting in skin irritation and also an emotional impact that vitiligo had on my life vitiligo has made me aware of the importance of taking care of my skin my body and my mind it is important to listen to my body and make sure i am taking good care of it in the beginning i would hide behind long sleeves so no one could see my spots and later on i continued using long sleeves and an umbrella to protect myself from the sun rays i make sure to protect my skin from sun rays and stay hydrated and have a healthy balanced diet i also make sure to get enough rest and exercise Another important lesson I learned was to avoid harsh chemicals that could affect me and my skin. And for my mental health, I started doing what makes me happy. Because remember, you won't be young forever. So do what makes you happy every day. As you can see, what I do, I do paintings. So it makes me happy. So likewise, you also carry on doing something which makes you happy every day i also would like to talk little bit about find a support group to face vitiligo if you are dealing with the daily challenges of vitiligo finding a support group can be an incredible source of encouragement and strength 
sharing your feelings, frustrations and triumphs with others who truly understand what you are going through can make a huge difference in how you cope up with the condition. Joining a Vitiligo support group can provide you with invaluable resources including up-to-date information on treatments, research on new therapies and clinical trials. We will also gain insight into different coping strategies, share solutions to common problems and also um, become a part of a community where everyone is united by the same goals. That is to overcome the physical and emotional hurdles of living with vitiligo. In short, being part of a support group can be empowering as well as life changing. If you are feeling alone or overwhelmed by the impact of this condition, then I urge you to seek out such groups today. Also remember, there are treatments available for vitiligo. There are various treatments available that can help reduce the visibility of patches or spots on the skin caused by this vitiligo, including topical creams and ointments, light therapies, oral medications, and in some cases, surgical options. It is crucial to work with a trained dermatologist who specializes in vitiligo care to determine the best course of treatment for each individual case and monitor progress closely over time for optimal results. So take good care of yourself is prime important. Seventh and the last lesson I would like to share with you that is be patient in the journey of vitiligo. Vitiligo can be a long and unpredictable journey. The journey to f uh, finding the right treatment or way to manage this condition can be really very long and frustrating. Having patience on the journey of vitiligo is crucial. Many treatments can help slow down or even stop its progression of the spots. However, Seeing noticeable results takes time, sometimes say a few months or even years. Perseverance or patience is a key. Having patience and staying committed to managing vitiligo will ultimately lead to a happier and healthier life. I understand it can also be disheartening to try the same treatments over and over again without seeing any results. Trust me, it's okay to receive unexpected results. I strongly believe in life everything happens for the good or for some reason. In my case, despite of treatments, vitiligo spread to the entire body. So, it's okay to have entire body vitiligo. As I mentioned earlier, vitiligo has made me stronger and stronger every day. It has made me a stronger person. It is important to understand that every person's journey is unique and what works for one may not work for another. So it is essential to remain positive in any given circumstances which will help you to grow stronger and stronger every day. So let us conclude, having vitiligo has ignited a passion within me to inspire and uplift others. By sharing my story, my experiences and the lessons I have learned, I hope to be a source of encouragement for those struggling with their own insecurities or conditions. I have realized that by embracing my journey and transforming it into a positive force, I have the potential to make a meaningful impact on the life or lives of others. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, please give a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who might benefit from these lessons. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
for more empowering content remember you are beautiful just as you are so stay strong stay confident and keep embracing your uniqueness until next time